So I've been working on this research for about the last six years. I've been doing my PhD part-time alongside working in the School of Earth and Environment as a teaching fellow. Um, and I've basically been doing a lot of identifying fossils. So I've identified over 6,000 um, of these fossils, which are part of this collection, which is housed both here at Leeds and at the British Antarctic Survey uh, in Cambridge. So this site in Antarctica is the best place in the world for studying uh, this time period and this particular event because it's basically just more fossil rich than anywhere else in the world. The way I did this basically was to do it in chronological order. So I started identifying the fossils from the oldest um, sequence of rock and then worked my way forward in time. And that way I could firstly identify how many species there were and then also see when in the sequence of rock, which layer of rock they all went extinct. Um, so I, I had to go until I finished identifying the whole collection, until I got to the top of the, the section of rock that we were looking at. What we're looking at here is basically um, fossils from the, the oldest part of the island, so about 69 million years ago. And then as we move along the bench here, we're basically moving forward through time. And what you can see is that there's a whole kind of variety of different organisms represented here, many different types of species, many different um, types of animals. And then as we move across the island, we get to this one particular layer of rock and lots and lots of these things just disappear. And as we go higher up and into younger rocks, what we find is just one or two species. Um, and we've lost many, many of the groups um, that, and species that we saw um, lower down. While it's widely thought that an asteroid may have been the, the main cause of this extinction event, there's actually several other hypotheses. Um, for example, that uh, massive volcanism was sort of slowly changing the climate, causing many species to go extinct over a longer period of time. But what this record from Antarctica shows us is that uh, we have a very kind of stable community and then this extinction event was very, very sudden, very rapid. So basically at one moment everything was fine and then the next moment it wasn't. Um, and this is much more compatible with the idea of, of an asteroid impact being the, the main cause of this extinction.